49, array of light, frequency 5.09 times 10 to the 14th hertz, travels through various substances. Which graph best represents the relationship between the absolute index of refraction of these substances and the corresponding speed of light in these substances? So this one comes down to knowing the definition of the index of refraction. So the index of refraction of a given substance is given by C over V. This is on your equation sheet where C is the speed of light. Remember Einstein? Three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Um, so that's a constant. And V is the speed that it'll really move in a substance which has a particular index of refraction N. So as you increase the index of refraction, what happens to the velocity? It gets smaller, right? If n goes up, v has to go down. And the opposite's true too. For a smaller index of refraction, you're going to need a higher velocity to make this equation hold true. So you could say that these are inversely related. So 1 and 2 don't make sense because an increase in the index doesn't cause an increase in velocity. Increase in velocity doesn't cause an increase in index. So these relationships don't make sense. And they're certainly not, um, it's not that, that the velocity, that the index doesn't affect the velocity at all. It does affect it. If the index goes up or down, the velocity is going to go down or up. So three doesn't make sense. Four is the best choice. Again, this is kind of a power law relationship. In general, in algebra, if you have y equals 1 over x, it's going to have this shape. And that's exactly what's going on here. You have n equal to a constant over v. So the relationship between n and v is that as one goes down, the other goes up, and vice versa. And uh, it's going to be asymptotic to both the y and the x-axis. 4 is the best choice.